Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. This, believe it or not, is the Friday Gear Show. Now we're here at ISPO, which is a giant trade show for loads of different outdoor brands. Before I go, well, let me explain something. There's two main trade shows here in Europe for outdoor kit. There's Outdoor and ISPO. Now most of the climbing brands usually release their newest and shiniest kit at Outdoor. Having said that, we've managed to find a couple of shiny new things to show you. So, this is our lightning quick top three pieces of climbing gear we found at ISPO. So first up is this Edward Ace harness, and there's a few cool things about this. The first one is that there's four strips of Dyneema through the leg and waist sections. That means you can keep it very lightweight and still strong, and also it sort of stays molded to the shape it should be, it doesn't kind of flop all over the place. Love this little circle thing, how cool is that? Uh, on the back there's ice clippers uh, for when you're doing alpine climbing. But the coolest thing about this harness, and it's something so ridiculously simple, I've got no idea why other people aren't doing it, is you can get the waist and leg loops at different sizes. So that means if you're a sport climber, uh, let's say you're a medium waisted sport climber, but you've got tiny little legs, it means you can get the leg loops in a small and the waist in a medium. Or if you're, let's say, an alpinist who does road cycling at the weekend and you've got a massive, huge thighs, then you can get a large leg loop and a small waist, for example. I have no idea why other harness makers aren't doing it. Edelrid, awesome. Next up, the Petzl Sirocco helmet. Now, if you guys are expecting an in-depth tech review, it's tricky to do it with this because not that much has changed. What they have done is uh, increase, increase. They've made it bigger at the back, basically, protect from um, rockfall. The big news is it's no longer bright orange. It's now a very tasteful black or white. Now, I'll be honest, I hated the old orange color. I wasn't a good enough climber or cool enough to pull it off, even though I knew it was an amazing helmet. Now with this new design, I really like it, and it is stupidly light, it's 170 grams. Crazy, and now I might buy it. Onwards. Should just say, if you're looking for an in-depth technical review, we will be releasing little videos of all the products I've been speaking about on Epic TV. And if you go to our shop page and want to buy some of this stuff, the video will be in there. So now you can get your full tech spec review. I'm gone now. And finally, we have to talk about this new mountaineering boot from Scarpa. Not only is it really cool, it's one product of the year here at ISPO 2017. This is a lightweight boot if you're gonna to wanna to wear the same shoe from the valley floor to the top of the mountain. It's completely waterproof throughout. The sole is stiff enough for moderate ice climbing and it's crampon compatible. It's got this built-in gaiter system here with a sock fit which is very comfortable and lightweight. And this handy little flap here that covers up the laces that means they don't get sopping wet. This is the ultimate fast and light boot from Scarpa, and you're gonna see a lot of people in Chamonix and all around the Alps wearing this to get from the bottom to the top in as quick a time as possible. It's awesome, and let me show you this badass award, which is really heavy. Nice one, Scarpa. <sighs> Done. Right, now via the magic of TV, back to the studio. Just like that, we're back in the studio. And man, does it feel good to be home. Right, we need to announce the winner of last week's competition. I was amazed by the detailed response that you guys put underneath last Friday's Friday Gear Show. So if you want to read some cool outdoor nighttime adventure stories, make sure you click onto YouTube or check out our website. Now, the winner from last week's comment was this one from Eric Dalquist. Sorry, dude, if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, he had a story about climbing to the top of a boulder at night and not being able to get down. It made me laugh mainly because it's the kind of situation that I would do. So mate, one of these head torches is gonna to be winging its way towards you very, very soon. Now, this week's competition. Now we've been talking a lot about new and exciting gear and this brush from Tom Randall and Sublime Climbing is certainly innovative. All you need to do to win this is to comment below this video with a piece of climbing gear that you would design if you had the chance. This could be something that helps you with your climbing or just an idea that you've uh, had for ages but no one's ever taken you seriously. Now, don't worry, this doesn't need to be in the realms of reality. In fact, the weirder and crazier your comment is, the more likely I am to choose it. So good luck, comment below, and as usual, let us know what you think about this show in the comments below, if you like it, if you hate it, and what you want to see different for next week. Thanks for watching, see you soon.